Hi, everybody. Today I'm out in eastern Washington and I'm near the town of Quincy. I'm at the Ancient Lakes area to do a hike. I'm at the lower trailhead and you get here by doing the Ancient Lakes Road. And the hike here uh, starting at this area is going to be basically flat, maybe 200 elevation gain and about five miles. But there are extra trails and you can add on more if you like. I'm hearing lots of quail and some other birds this morning. So I think it's going to be a nice hike. So this area has a really rich geological history. There were uh, repeated layers of flood basalts. And these are some of the columnar basalt up there. And where we're going to be walking is into one of the coolies called Pothole Coolies. Potholes Coolie. And I'll put some information in the description, uh, links where you can find out more about the Ice Age floods and the glacial Lake Missoula repeatedly flooding this area and kind of carving out these coolies. The one we're going to go see up here has, uh, I think, at least three lakes. Here's another look back towards the coulee. It's kind of like a U with the basalt cliffs all around. In the wildflower book, they have a featured flower for every hike. And the one for this hike is called Hooker's Onion. So I'm gonna have my eye out looking for that. It is a wild onion that's native to the area and it can get up to 12 inches tall and um, it has pink to purplish flowers. Um, I've seen wild onions over in Eastern Washington here before and I've seen them over the last couple weeks but I'm not sure uh, which varieties they are. For me, they're, they're hard to tell the difference. And so I'm going to be looking for that. I took a screenshot to see if I can maybe compare um, but each year, you know, the flowers are going to bloom depending upon uh, the rainfall, the water temperature. And we kind of have a cooler spring this year. So um, I'm not sure if they'll be out. But um, one of the things with the onions are the leaves are distinctive. So maybe even if they're not blooming, I might see some leaves. So the wildflowers that we're going to find here in this area of Washington, they aren't going to be like the super blooms in California where you just have millions of flowers like on a big carpet, but it's a lot more subtle than that. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. Um, this area is called Shrub Step, and there's lots of this um, sagebrush and low grasses. And the wildflowers a lot of times are going to be tucked in between there. They're going to get protection from the wind and there's probably more moisture retained under the sage brushes. So um, it's a different kind of beauty. The trail's bringing us closer to the basalt cliffs now. And here's some Canada geese.
Here's a really great spot to see the end of the U there, where the floods would have come over and knocked out all the basalt, carried it away down the Columbia River. We're going to go forward and check out the lakes. Okay, we've arrived at Ancient Lake. And this was about 1.6 miles to this point. It's really nice that the sun's come out. There's just a little bit of a breeze. Um, it's a really pretty day. Well, I think I am a little bit too early for the wildflowers. I haven't seen very many on this side. They're mostly um, on the way in. Not really a whole lot around the lakes, um, but it's been really nice as far as bird goes. birds go. Um, I think I will add a list uh, from someone else, like just a bird list of what could be found in this area. And I'll also add a um, wildflower list since I wasn't able to see very many. But it's really nice. Probably the best thing is being able to walk through the coulee here and see all the layers um, of the basalt that were put down over the years. And then to think about the Ice Age floods and how all that got stripped away. Um, yeah, so I've seen about 15 people today. So it's been really nice and quiet. And I've enjoyed it. So... I'm not sure if you ever would be in the area, but coming to this lower trailhead, there's not that much elevation gain. Um, the hardest part about that is coming in the road. It's pretty flat, but it's um, just been graded, and so it's very rough. I went about 10 miles an hour, and um, yeah, on the WTA website, it gives you directions how to get to the lower Ancient Lakes trailhead.